actually do is simulate a 20 mile an hour wind on all faces of the house that are exposed to the outside. Mm -hmm. Normally, if the wind's coming from the back of the house, you have a positive pressure yeah. and you have an infiltration of air on that side. And on the negative side, where you have a vacuum of the wind going around the house and up and over, you have your vortex, which is your uh, pressure, your exfiltration, if you will. Conditioned air leaving, unconditioned air coming in. But the blower door, when we do the natural air exchange of the home or under pressure, what it does is it allows us to measure leakage from every surface that's exposed to the outside and of the home. Penetration. And we can talk about the house in Canada and Mexico and Europe, and it's just a standard that's recognized in the building industry. You can tell that we're blowing air out, creating a negative pressure because the canvas has worked its way in. You can see it's, you're feeling against the walls. Where you can see it's flexing in, it's uh, deflecting inward. Yes. Now it's going to get quite noisy, and we'll find out from the manometer whether or not we need to add a ring. Now, that hose is measured next to the differentiation. Yes, you know, for pressure variance in the house. Now, where is that leading to? Is that not down in the basement? This hose is halfway down into the combustion area for the basement. Your red hose is going to be measuring our actual airflow past the fans. Our green hose is our baseline going to the uh, outside, if you will, okay. so we can do our pressure comparison. So we have all three of them. Now, we're at a point where we need to add a ring, so this home is, is tight. Of course, with the, the negative airflow situation, this one's a little bit louder. B ring in. The door's even a little more rigid. And at this point, we're testing for an ultra seal house. We've met all the standards so far. So we're going one step further, proving this house is beyond the normal standards. Okay, our test is good. We came in at 890 CFM. I checked our paperwork before we started the test, and we were allowed 2008 CFM to still meet Energy Star compliance. Wow. Um, what that means, uh, basically, the Energy Star compliance is about a third of the air exchanges on its own naturally within the home. Where we're coming in at, it's going to be lucky, it's going to be somewhere about a sixth to a seventh of the home's natural air on its own, which is another reason for the mechanical ventilation. Okay. They want air to exchange in the home. We have an ultra-tight home. Uh, the home will perform very well in terms of its energy consumption. Homeowner and builder can be very pleased. Great. Now, when you speak of a, a cubic feet per minute or a volume air, mm -hmm. uh, what is the actual time duration for that? for the type of exchange. You say it's a quarter an eighth or so. Is that immediate or no. is that over a, a period? Over a one hour period. A it, one it'll, hour. it'll exchange on its own about a seventh of the volume of the air in the home. Uh, maybe a little less than that. Maybe an eighth in a one hour period. Um, I'm going to say that existing construction is not unusual to have one to two complete volumes of the home exchange on their own. Energy Star requires something around a third or less and every builder, building energy star has to meet that level. Uh, obviously, in this situation, with your um, two-part home uh, with the closed cell and the detail of the band, the detail of penetrations to the attic plane, mm -hmm. those things being, um, I'm going to say, uh, under a lot of scrutiny from the builder creates a home that's that much tighter and will perform better in terms of its energy consumption over time. Great. So you've got a, when you've got a builder that builds with a conscience, that's where you start to Essentially, that's what it comes down to. Uh, Skyler does not have to do these things and still probably get to Energy Star levels. Right. But because you've gone above and beyond in all situations, you'll have a house that performs better, you'll have a client that's very happy, um, and very little callbacks because of it. And, and these are all things a, a potential home buyer, homeowner should know. Absolutely. When they pull up to what you know you consider a benign colonial, and to know the little things in the background of the house that makes it that. That's that correct. Qualify. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, John. Well, thank you.